I'm Ashley Moffat and I'm a reproductive immunologist, um, which means that I'm working on uh, trying to understand how the mother's immune system in pregnancy uh, regulates uh, how the placenta develops and therefore regulates um, how successful the pregnancy is. And uh, this goes wrong in very major diseases like preeclampsia. And preeclampsia is much more common in Africa than anywhere else in the world for reasons that we do not understand. And I was been talking over a few year, last few years with my friend Megan Vaughan, who is the professor of Commonwealth history, and she's particularly interested in the history of health in Africa, and uh, and actually death, looking at, at, at uh, um, how uh, the response to uh, mortality there, and we felt that we should try and um, get together both scientists, public health doctors, epidemiologists, with social scientists, anthropologists and historians to look at this um, real major problem of uh, the high mortality rates uh, of mothers in Africa from all these different um, uh, viewpoints. And I don't think this is going to be very easy because we all have our own languages that we talk about our subject and I th think one of the major things we're going to have to try and do is break down um, the language difficulties and talk to each other and that will be a challenge but also I think it will be very productive. I think we were very aware that we didn't want to tread on the toes of uh, policy makers like the WHO and, and DFID has a big in interest in maternal mortality and, and other agencies. We're not trying to replace what they're doing at all. We're trying to actually uh, perhaps look at this problem from in a way that different academics can do from coming at it from biology and what are the biological reasons why this, uh, the rates are very high in Africa. Um, and also social and the cultural um, context that, that, uh, that is operating. The Millennium Development Goal 5 is related to maternal health and particularly maternal mortality and I think that there is probably no other measurement of health, if you like, uh, than that shows up such a huge disparity between um, the developed world and sub-Saharan Africa. This is, it, it, it's, uh, and the figures are at, uh, something like 800 per 100,000 in Africa and 14 in, in the UK. So this is an enormous difference. And uh, we, we, we understand quite a lot about why that is, but I think not completely at all. Well, I think we're, we're unsure about that, but hopeful that actually this will generate um, um, further um, dialogue between uh, the different disciplines. It's a great opportunity for people to um, meet, meet, often people you've read a lot about and not ever come, come into contact with. And one thing we're very encouraged about is that everybody we asked to speak was, was very enthusiastic and thought this was a completely unusual and unique uh, meeting and not one that it hasn't been uh, held before really.